10 types of Brawl Stars players. Yo, what's going on guys? Happy you know, back. Yeah, that's right. We're back at it again discussing the various types of players and Brawl Stars. We did a video about this in 2018, but it feels kind of prehistoric. And this time around, we're making this a series because there's endless types of players. Well, kind of. With that being said, make sure to comment some types of players you know in the comment section below for a chance to be featured in the next episode. So, let's get right into it. The Lucky Player I know my luck is pretty bad. I mean, I never get legendaries from boxes unless I paid money for it. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you can relate. But have you ever known someone or have been the person whose luck is just the opposite of bad? Which is good. <laughs> like how the heck do they get everything you could ever want from boxes? Like a new brawler will release and they're in the clan chat like, Dude, no way! Let's go! Just to unlock the new legendary, like how the heck? I could have a ton of boxes saved up and get nothing but air. And this guy's out here getting all the cool new legendaries and the cooler gadgets. I don't know, man. Maybe the Supercell gods hate me. My luck is so bad, but there's always that one player with the best luck out there. The guy who always clicks exit after every game. C -c 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 come on! What? What is it? What do you have to say that is super important that you had to exit the game? Jesus! I hate these people. Look, man. Sometimes I just want to go on a trophy spree with some peeps, kinda just zone out and play match after match, but sometimes there's that one guy who exit after every match, and sometimes they don't even say anything. They just ready up immediately after like, what was the whole point of that? Sorry, this one triggers me a bit. Anyways, yeah, there's always that one dude. Look, it's fine to exit to change brawlers or if you gotta go, but other than that, you shouldn't have to exit just to say GG or just in case someone has to say something like, no, just press play again, Jesus. The Gemmer. It can't be a types of video unless I include the holy Gemmer. AKA every YouTuber. Hey babe, why is our bank account empty? Shh. It's called content. Content, honey. The views will pay off, trust me. Okay, but really, it's not only YouTubers. I know a few people in my clan who just like to drop a bit of dinero. That's Chinese for money, by the way. Gemmers will buy everything in a shop, using code Havoc, of course, and proceed to flex the new brawler they just brought or reload the shop to see what's the next hottest deal they can't resist. I can't lie though, I buy a lot of stuff. I've never denied that. Worst part about it, it's rarely ever sponsored. It's just me logging on like, wow, that's a sick deal. Let me check my balance to see if I have enough money. The free to play player. The free to play player is this rare species who won't spend a dime. As we can see here, we see one in his natural habitat. Okay, jokes aside, they aren't that rare at all. I think over half my clan is probably free to play, and there's nothing wrong with it. I get it, sometimes you have no money, sometimes you choose not to spend because you're trying to save up for something, or maybe you're under a parent's iTunes account and just can't. Or can you? Okay, don't do that, seriously. That's malo. That's Russian for bad, by the way. The OG player. You probably have a player in your clan who's been playing since day one, or at least 2017. He's got all the cool stories I start with back in my day. Stories hit different when they start like that. I don't blame them for always reminiscing on the old days. I mean, Brawl Stars has gone through some major changes. There's a lot to talk about, like, a lot. It's like listening to your grandpa talk about the war he fought in. Ugh, I'm getting flashbacks. Unbeatable primos. No spawn protection. Smash and grab, like why did they have to change the name? Okay, I think that's enough. Let's move on. The talkative person. Alright man, I'll talk to you later, I'm trying to push Spike. Alright man. Dude, Spike is godly, bro. I remember that one time when- On! I said, I'll talk to you later. There's always that one dude who just talks and talks on and on and doesn't stop. Even if you gotta go, he'll come up with a conversation about you leaving. Like, what the heck? Just let me go, dude. Now there ain't nothing wrong with talking a lot. I mean, hey, at least we know you're active, but some people just take it too far. 
The overconfident. <laughs> nah, bro, I got this, man. Yeah, no you don't. There's always that one player that is overconfident on how good he is at the game. And I absolutely hate it. Don't get me wrong, it's good to have great confidence when doing something, especially in real life. Like you might want to talk to a girl or something and you need that confidence, right? Or for your girl viewers out there, then you might be looking for a guy. I don't know, I don't know how things work for a female. I don't ask. Anyways, in Brawl Stars, it's a hit or miss. They might do good and impress you, or they might just jump into people's faces and die a lot, or lose all 10 gems. A little advice from me, play smart, not aggressive. Also, another piece of advice, don't listen to my advice. <laughs> I think I suck too. That's the reason why I don't have a top 10 pro tip series. Anyways, we're getting off topic. Players who are overconfident of themselves in the game, you gotta love them. The Addict. Mmm, yes. The Addict. There's always that one dude that is literally always online. You get on at 12 a.m. and he's online. You get on at 7 a.m. and he's online. 3 p.m., you guessed it, he's online. They're always doing something in the game and perhaps even buying everything. You know, I can't lie though, at one point I was this guy. I couldn't put the darn game down for a second. I even made an entire video highlighting things I do. I'm sure some of you can relate or know someone who's had similar traits as the addict. Hey Tom, you look tired. Been uh, studying for a test or something? Yeah, you can say that, yeah, test. The lagger. We've probably all had this one duo partner or team member who had bad Wi-Fi and just couldn't play properly because of it. No hate to those with bad Wi-Fi. I get it. If you live at home, you probably don't pay for it and you gotta work with what you got, right? But still, I gotta address those people who always lag. No offense, but you might make a bad team member depending if you're at the good side of the house or not. It's okay though, if you have bad Wi-Fi, you've probably learned to work around it, or you team less, I don't know. What I do know for sure is I've had people on my team who blame a bad match on their connection. <laughs> now that is the type of player I'm talking about. The Camper. Ah uh, yes, bushes. Such a nice place to hide out, but watch out, there might be a... Most of the time, it's a shell or a bull looking for its next prey, but sometimes, some types of players just flat out camp the entire match or move from one bush to another. Now, I can't lie, I've done this before. I feel like I'm saying that for everything in the video. I thought, huh, what if I just camp in this bush all game long and get like fourth place? or something, it's better than nothing, right? But I learned the hard way that sometimes this just doesn't work, and you're better off actually playing the game like it was meant to be played. Regardless, we all know someone who likes to camp and hide out in a bush, or you've probably done it yourself. Hey, no shame in my game. So guys, that should be it for this episode of Types of Brawl Stars Players. Like I said in the beginning of the video, definitely let me know more types of players you may know, or maybe you have been before. There's a lot of them out there, in fact I have a whole list, but I'd rather split them up into a series instead of making a one hour video. Yeah, I don't know, I think I'd take like two weeks to edit that if I were to do that. So uh, yeah, anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. Have a gaming out. Peace!